yeah so in this video we'll see what are functions so there's some if there's some kind of we could say with there's some uh, changes now so mostly what we did till now which are variable declaration variable usage and data types the data structures condition statements and loops we what we call them is like we could we can call them as statements these are called programming statements so they are like uh concise in a single line or maybe multiple line but they are they are statements okay so what we do right now what we whatever we see after this the after loops these are mostly the wrappers around the statement so uh there are like uh statements which are wrapped uh with function and there are uh function which are wrapped with class and there are uh, classes which are wrapped with libraries so it's more of a this last three concepts that we can go through is are mostly wrappers to the this all things okay so it's like similar statements will go into a single function okay and similar functions will go into a single class and similar class will go into a single library so in this way you could visualize it so it makes us easy it makes it easy to understand so these are all like statements and what we do we wrap it with functions okay and uh, similar statements okay it should be similar statements so what a function is like uh, functions could be like uh, just like the name uh, suggests so it has some function to do it has some work to do so it what we could call it is a, some kind of a code okay okay so it's so a piece of a code uh, that will run whenever we want it to run or we whenever it will uh, it will run whenever we call the function okay so uh, first thing it should function should have only one uh, function should have only one responsibility okay it should only have one responsibility if the function is about doing if the function is about doing uh, it's like if you are th uh, accelerating the car okay the function is responsible for accelerating car the code for on of the co code for uh, working of the horn should not be in present of the accelerating function so it should only have a single function if it's if the function name is accelerating car all the code inside that function should be responsible and should be uh, it could be like it should only be uh, like responsible to accelerating the car nothing else should be present in that okay if if there's a function for uh, of uh, working of on so car on so all the code should only be uh, uh, in that function which is responsible for working of on so uh, so and the mostly the function names are uh, in verbs it should be a verb it's not mostly it should be a verb function name should be a verb it should it should be doing some work okay so that's why the function naming convention that we always use are mostly about uh, a verb it should be a verb okay so how how could we like uh, what's the convention okay what's the convention so how do we write so the it gets prefixed by a keyword called f then the name function name okay function name then uh, a parenthesis or we call it a round brackets and then colon for uh, indentation and whatever we write inside is the part of the uh, function okay so this is how we uh, this is how the convention is to uh, declare a function okay so let's declare one function uh, what we'll do we'll like greet okay. greet uh, greet would be like print uh, good morning yeah good morning so this is like good morning and whenever i want to use whenever i want to use uh greet uh, whenever i want to print good morning what i'll do i'll just call greet see so what it will do what the program uh, will do it will see okay greet okay so it will go uh, over here the program flow will come here okay greet this is a function so let's see where the function resides okay yeah this is where the function resides okay what to do in this function it uh, print it should print good morning so whenever we'll run this now uh, whenever we'll run this so so whenever we'll then run this it will give us good morning okay it will give us good morning so we don't we don't have to uh, do it uh, again and again we have don't have to write print good morning again and again so it's like good we have to just call the greet function which will print good morning on its own okay so what uh, there are one thing that we could do right now it's like we could uh, take the username okay username there is a username called uh, maybe nick 
okay nick and i want to greet it with uh greet it uh greet it with uh, the username so it's like good morning nick so what i'll do what i'll do i'll take a parameter or an argument in the grid okay which is i'll i'll give it a name <laughs> maybe username okay let it be username only away so what i'll do i'll take the parameter uh, while declare, declaring the function and what i'll do i'll just add it to uh user okay username so what will happen right now whenever i'll call greet okay whenever i'll call greet before i was not giving any parameter but now i i have to give a parameter because it's expecting one parameter so whenever we'll run it it's giving us good morning nick okay if you can understand okay so it's giving us good morning nick so it's taking an argument we call it an argument you could call it a parameter you could like they can be both interchangeably used okay so whatever we are doing we are defining a function over here okay defining a function over here which has some uh, fun work to do in it and that function takes an parameter called username okay i'll just change this to name and we could go this okay yeah so we i'm sending nick so what it what will happen the value of nick goes here and it gets carried out here and good morning then it gets carried out in this line so it, this is where the uh, print statement gets executed and it gives us the good morning nick okay so this is how we uh, define a function and we how we can add a parameter or not we could call it an argument we could call it an argument parameter or argument and uh, this, how it works okay so there can be function with zero arguments there can be function with uh, any n number of arguments okay so one more thing that we have to go through is the last part is the return statement that we have to calculate over here so that we could use to calculate something and then we could return it to where whoever the it's calling to so uh, let's remove the greet uh, function and let's write greet uh, add okay add and i'll take two uh, i'll i'll take two parameters which is f now and s now which are first number and second number and what i could do is uh, have a variable called uh, result equals to f num plus s num and uh, what i'll do i could then after adding it i could return it into result okay so what will happen is like whenever i'll call add right now i'll call add so it, it will take two arguments f num and s num i'll give 10 and for s num i'll give 8 okay let's give 8 and what will happen See, nothing but what we could do is because there's something called return uh, i could catch the result so in some variable so i could say the here uh, i could use some variable called uh, final equals to whatever the function is uh, whatever the result that will get from the add function so if i'll print final if i'll print final and then i'll get 18 see so we are not printing it over here just like before we are printing it in the grid grid function so now what we are doing we are returning the result and we are catching it in variable and after that we are printing through the variable okay this is how return statement works so whenever we have something that uh, a caller should uh, know about so after calculating so it's like i am line number 10 is calling 10 uh, sorry line number 10 is calling add function so uh, add function is responsible to return whatever it's specified over here to line number 10 so which we are uh, saving it in a variable called final and then we could use it now for now we are just printed out the uh, printed out the uh, calculated answer so in this way uh, we can we can have like parameter like function with zero parameters and no return statement we can have a function with uh, n number of parameters and no return statement so and we can also have function with n number of uh, parameters and a return statement so return statement should always be the last line of a function after that whatever we'll write over here c print a it will not work okay return return statement should be the last line of any function after this after you write anything it will not work okay so if i'll just uh like change it to the last line right now and see it's now working but if it's before it was uh before uh after return this print is after return statement it will never work so always remember return statement should be the last line of the 
function so what we know is uh, functions are some work to do uh, names or we could have, we could call it we should con uh, name convention should be a work like add so it's an work so it work done so add so they can also have parameters they can also have no, no parameters they can have return statements and return statements should be the last line of any function okay so i hope you understood functions and i'll see you in the next video